Hey there everybody, welcome back to Airbrusher Games and Art. How you doing? Well, that's right, your eyes don't deceive you. World of Tanks. I got a video of it. And even better, it's me playing. I'm not showing someone else. <laughs> I know a very, very rare occasion nowadays. Because <clears throat> I just don't enjoy World of Tanks like I used to. Though I still have my friends over there. And I am waiting for them to get new videos up. And I was told recently that they'll be coming so you'll be seeing some lot better play than mine coming up that's a good thing so here I'm in my IO experimental or OI I keep saying that backwards for some reason I know I do it but it's OI experimental it's a good little tank um, I had a run of really bad games in it yeah, but here's a decent one. The uh, gun on this thing is massive when it hits. <laughs> this is in no means a sniper tank. This is a tank that gets in your face and brawls. And when it hits you, you do know it. But you'll see me try to snipe with it a few times. That's just because of the fact that I'm slow. Not too bad for this tier of a uh, heavy tank, but I'm still slow because I'm a heavy tank. And like right here, you'll see it. I was fully aimed. Didn't even see that. <laughs> Didn't even see that one on the screen. I have no clue where it went. And and that one hit. So I was like, oh yeah. So remember that T80. He will be back. Yeah, I have no clue where that one went either. But, and then here's a, uh, the experimental, or not experimental, the uh, artillery version of uh, this, a BT-7 or BT-5, one of the two. Anyways, uh, yeah, I went right over the top of him. He's a sneaky little guy. Should have never took that shot right there because it started backing up. I would have had a beautiful shot on him. But because of view ranges at this level, you know, you disappear just really quick. So as soon as I don't see him and there's nobody really out there to spot him for me, that was a shot from that T-80, that cheeky little booger. The IO, OI experimental shot me back, but my, my uh, tracks ate it. So I know there's a guy over here. I saw him out of the corner of my eye. I'm like, well, where did he go? Because I just don't want to get flanked, because that's bad news in this. And it's that BT artillery piece. And yeah, just finished him right off. So I'm feeling pretty good about this game so far. I'm like, hey, you know, because they were absolutely cleaning us out, just absolutely using us to mop the desert up with. But here I'm starting to even up the kills and uh, we brought the game back. And there's no one over here with me. And uh, a T-80 and there's a Panzer III that were last seen over here. I'm trying to decide what I want to do because I know I can take them but if they work together they'll kill me. So I'm like, ah, I, just, I don't know. So I move up a little bit. I'm going to take a look at it to see how we're doing. And then I see the Panzer III. So okay, that, that's good. This guy's over there. And I'm pretty sure the uh, T-80 is just hiding at the moment. So I'm not worrying too much about him. And they're pinging me for whatever reason. But I see they're threatening the base. So I make sure I'm not going to get flanked. And uh, here we go. I'm going to use this little hill to get myself turned around with. Get some speed up. And here we go. Yeah, yeah, I know. I was already making that decision. If you would have watched me for a second longer. <laughs> so it's me and the Matilda against uh, T-80, Panzer 3A. And uh, Wolverine, who is actually my biggest threat 
in this game is that Wolverine. <clears throat> and then there's the SU-85, <clears throat> excuse me, who I I never seen through the game, but he does show up in uh, the Matilda I'm working with kills him. And that was it right there. I love running back to uh, save the cap. But I love it more when I'm I'm going and they're yelling, oh don't, you know, don't go go kill them all, don't cap, you know, don't, or don't go back and save our cap, you know, you're just gonna get stuck out there and all this. And I just people that are armed chair generals that really don't know anything. So there is that that Wolverine and I need to kill him. I really, really do. And there we go. This gun hits so hard at this tier, it's, it's almost unfair. <laughs> There's the Panzer III. He's almost dead, so... The uh, Matilda took him out. And this is where it gets kind of tense for me because now it's the T-80. He's fast. You know, his gun really can't do too much to me, but he can flank me and get to the softer parts. So, I say where I saw, you know, the last known uh, location of the T-80 was. So, I put it out there. And I'm just kind of spinning around here because I don't want to leave here and be vulnerable to him. So, I'm kind of just thinking it over. I'm not real sure about what I'm going to do. And you know, this is where a much better player than I would have been, you know, right on the ball. But I needed, I needed some suggestions, and so they want to, they want to go ahead and do the cap. So the uh, Matilda, which is funny, is going to uh, go ahead and head back for the cap. And I'm, I don't know who's faster, him or I. <laughs> So what I'm doing here is a really stupid thing. I thought what I could do is, because I don't want him to get on my ass, is I thought I could back my butt up against here. And, but as you see, my butt just goes up in the air. So immediately it's like, no, I can't do that. Let's start moving forward. I'm looking for something to hide behind. Here's these rocks up here. So this is where I'm heading. Figure I can ambush from there. But then the, uh, the Matilda, I had trouble uh, remembering what it was, Matilda says, you know, why don't you come halfway over? It's like, hey, you know what, it's fine with me. Because I'm figuring that the Matilda will run into this guy before I will. So here we go. I'm on it. We're rushing forward. Well, rushing as fast as a, uh, oh, I will rush. But you know what I mean. So I thought he was going to get the kill on the T-80 right there, but I don't think he had a shot. He took a shot, but I don't think he actually had anything. So I kind of zoom in and out here because I kind of lose him. And then there he is. And right into the dirt, like 50 meters in front of him. <laughs> so he's going to zigzag back and forth. And I'm just going to move my gun in front of him. And wait for him to choose a direction. And there you go. Thanks, folks. Until next time.